Hello everyone. I thought I'd uh, tweet this devotion outside today. I came outside and it was so nice and I just sat down casually and puttering around in the yard and I thought, oh, gee, this is a nice time. Pastor Adam, thank you for asking me to do a devotion again this month. I'm going to read to you from the New Living Translation, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. It says, Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will go down into God's love and keep you strong. I was out in the yard and I noticed uh, buds on the trees and even some flowers. And I thought about this reading from May 1st uh, in the uh, devotion that I was uh, following. And it talked about a person sharing with their counselor the tremendous roller coaster of emotions and stress in their life and how it was just so troublesome. The counselor invited the person to look out the window at the trees. And the trees uh, uh, had flowers on them, buds on them, and also the branches were swaying in the wind. We see that often here, the branches swaying in the wind. But the counselor pointed out to the individual that the trunk was not moving. The trunk was solid. And they said, we're a bit like the tree. Our emotions, our feelings, our stresses are like branches that blow in the wind, just as they're blowing in the wind right now behind me. They can blow sideways and up and down, but the trunk remains strong. For the Christian, our trunk is Jesus. Jesus is the one who remains the same uh, every day, all the time. He loves us continuously. And even though our feelings and our emotions and our stresses can go all over the place like branches in the wind, the trunk remains strong. So I want to encourage us to think about that in this short devotion, about our trunk, that is Jesus, and how we are strong in him, that's where our identity is, not just in the uh, daily events of life that can cause us both every single thing from joy to distress, but the trunk, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, and may you have a marvelous day with joy in Jesus. Amen.